Hey everybody, Aaron at Warmoth here, and today we are going to be doing one of our most requested videos. We are going to be comparing the sound of nickel silver frets to the sound of stainless steel frets. <laughs> So there's all kinds of uh, internet madness about whether you can hear the difference between stainless steel frets and nickel frets. Uh, a lot of people claim that when they play on stainless steel frets they can hear a little extra zinginess or pinginess up in the top end. Other people say they can't hear any difference at all. And uh, the goal of this test today is to compare them in kind of a clinical way and see if you can hear a difference. Um, obviously in a test like this the object is to remove as many variables as possible. And so we've done that on our test necks. Uh, they both have the same back contour, they both have the same nut width, same nut material, same, same uh, tuners, string trees, same number of frets, everything, exactly the same. And we even went so far as to make sure that they were both cut from the same piece of maple, which is a huge variable. Um, so these necks are as close as they can be to each other, the only difference being the frets. Uh, for our test, we're attaching the neck to a genuine Fender Stratocaster body. This is a made in Mexico version. And we've outfitted it with a calibrated set of Seymour Duncan SSL1 single coils. The amp we're using is a uh, uh, Fender Hot Rod Deluxe. We're miking it with an SM57 going into a Focusrite Pre and then into Reaper. So that is the, uh, the chain. Um, and I'll disclose my bias. I love stainless steel frets. I have them on about half my guitars. Uh, I think they play better. I think they're smoother to do bends on. And, and uh, as far as longevity, they certainly outlast nickel frets by quite a wide margin. Um, I gig pretty regularly, and even after years, not one of my stainless steel fret, fretted guitars has any fret wear at all. So that's a huge plus for me. Um, and I personally don't hear any difference in sound. But I've never done a clinical test like this either, so I'm interested to, to hear, you know, the results. And if I get proven wrong, well, you know, won't be the first time. Um, and to add an extra layer of drama, I don't know which neck this is. So we're going to find out together. I'll play them both and I will give you uh, my thoughts and observances and then we'll have the big reveal together and it'll be a nice bonding moment and all that stuff. Um, I have a feeling I know which neck this is already just by the way it feels, but I'm gonna keep that to myself until uh, the big reveal at the end. So without further ado, let's start the test.
tell which one was which? Well, this is neck number one. This is the one we started the test with yesterday. This is neck number two. This is the one we finished it with today. Neck number one is nickel. Neck number two is stainless steel. Um, could you hear a difference? You know, when I was doing the test and I was playing these necks a day apart from each other, I couldn't really spot it that much, but when I listened to the clips back and I, and I was able to play them back to back, I could definitely hear the zinginess in the top end that some people talk about. So I guess the question becomes, does this difference that you can spot, you know, in this clinical test when you're playing them back to back, does that make a difference in the real world? And I would say, you know, in my opinion, it's pretty insignificant. It's no bigger than the difference uh, that it makes when I reach out and grab the presence knob on my amp and turn it from there to there. And once you get a, a drummer and a bass player in the mix, I just, I don't feel like it really matters that much. What does matter to me uh, with my stainless steel frets is that, you know, I'm never going to have to worry about getting a refret, uh, you know, especially on a maple fretboard or if you have binding. Uh, refrets are a big deal, and with stainless steel frets, you never have to worry about that. Um, and also, I just feel like the playing experience is way superior. That it's so much easier to do bends on, vibrato. It's just a smoother playing experience. If you're a guy that likes vintage playability, or you know, if you um, if you play a lot of clean tone and and you're and you just hear that zinginess and it bothers you then you can stick with nickel frets. And the beauty is that you can get either one through Warmoth. You can get what you want, I can get what I want. Everybody can get what they want, and the world is a beautiful place. Um, so anyway, that is nickel frets versus stainless steel frets. If you have any more questions about frets, make sure to check out our website or give our customer service reps a call. And until next time, keep on picking!